obeying my commands. Protect yourself at all times. Understood? Touch them up. Good luck to both of y'all. The baby bull is coming after him, so he's got to be like the matador in there and, and allow that jab to keep working in this fast punch. Al Nazi is going to have to be a matador. High volume of punches. Even if Malinaji makes a miss frequently, he has to worry about having given Diaz angles. There's three sporting options tonight. I would recommend... Go Max, you gotta give them... Really fast and sharp. On one corner, there's a, a ball game. On a third corner, there's, there's a good fist fight so far tonight. Malinaji... Can he keep this up is the question. The cut, and by the way, folks, in his career. So, keep stacking the deck against them. At least one round in. Diaz puts the punches together, left hand. Malinaji. Rock not where the Malinaji needs to be is deep. Three punches by the baby bull because he'll wear you down. I haven't seen Diaz come out with too many jabs. I guess it's difficult to get a jab against a jabber. Hooks to the body, hooks to the head from Diaz. Difficulties a slick boxer faces versus a volume puncher. A volume of punches, some are bound to get through. Diaz with a good left hand. Right hand to the head. Malinaji has tasted some of the power of Diaz here in round two. Deck, deck stacked against you with judges, but also because every time Diaz lands, there's a roar from the crowd. None of them saw a headbutt that... A lot of pressure, people asking for tickets, people bothering you. He really gives his brother Jose a lot of credit. He is his shield. It's a great asset. Well, if his brother's a shield, he could use him in this <laughs> round so far. Yeah, family's always a great asset to, uh, sport. Yeah, Malinaji's gotten off to a quick start. We saw him round number one. Dividends for Diaz. Malinaji holds that right hand of Diaz, but he needs to hold the left hand, too. And you see why Diaz is so popular. Two rounds to one. 29, he's got to keep moving. He can't win this fight. Throw that up jab and move. You know, I don't know what Diaz gets hit by up jabs. Nate Campbell killed him with up jabs. Paulie Malinaji doing the same thing. Puts the left hand way down low, and he comes up with it. And meanwhile, Malinaji probably hit him four or five times. Malinaji also throwing the straight right hand with conviction tonight. Oh, that was, he got hurt. Yeah, he looked a bit wobbly there. A lot of time to go here in the fourth. It's another left hand to the chin. And you know, every time Diaz comes in, he's going to receive a cut. His left hand needs to come up a bit higher, especially when they're in close. Both corners have good cut men. Both men have cuts on the left eye. Dizzy and Joe Chavez for Diaz. You were going to see a, a left hook. From Diaz. And this is where uh, Malinaji kind of got hit a little bit. And you know, I. Away from danger there. Triple left hand. For... Malinaji's kind of stepped away from that jab that he came out with, but he's, you know, got. Pushes back Malinaji with that left. Connects with this crowd's gonna go crazy, even if he doesn't. If those punches miss, all went around the head of Malinaji. See, Diaz has realized that Malinaji's right hand down a little bit, so he's throwing that, that left hook. Switch 
went for Buddy McGurk to Sharif you now? He looked better than he has recently, Malinaj. Of course, in a case of an accidental foul, you go to the scorecards. Seems to me that given where Malinaji and where Diaz's cut is, he's stepping over to his right. It would be in Malinaji's best interest to step over counterclockwise. He's not really doing that. I, I agree with you. You know, when you when you have a bad cut like that, you know that the referee can stop the fight. You work on it. That's what you need to do. Meanwhile, it seems that if Malinaji were to move counterclockwise, he'd protect his own cut. But we don't know. We haven't seen a, a replay yet of when the cut was paused and by what. Good shot there by Diaz. Well, a boxer like Malinaji who fights off his toes, went clockwise, so it's easier to rip off punches while on your toes if you're moving that way. <laughs> He's got to work on the one that was caused by the punch. I caught him with good hooks just like that. On the inside. Game plan as set forth before the start of this round. He wasn't going to allow Malinaji to just go through the motions in the corner, nodding his head. He wanted to make sure he had Malinaji's attention. I mean, he's just going to keep pressuring you, come after you, try to land those big shots. Good left hand to the body by Diaz. Good body work. Yeah, and, and, and this is what you need to do. You need to work on the body. Hey, they know. Right hand over the top from Diaz. See, this is a situation where Malinaji needs to throw that right hand. I had to swell up a little bit, maybe a little blood to come out, and he needs to work on that eye. That's why, you know, if an animal is, or sees you bleeding, as soon as I see my guy or anybody that I'm boxing... Malinaji, four jabs in round number one. He's thrown 402 so far in the fight. Lennox, we're, we're at a point in the fight here in round eight. Diaz, of course, with Ronnie Shields, he always gets good instruction. Is the wrong thing to do. One punch can change change the, the whole process of this whole fight. For Diaz, as the fight wears on and fatigue sets in, and they're literally falling off right now. Now well, the moon's coming out. No knockdowns in the fight. Malinaji cut left eye round number one. And that last round was an interesting round as far as how you wanted to score it. Pretty close round. Going up in the final score. Act on this. When he jabs, jab with him. Well, I mean, that's it gets his jab out there as well. Left and right by the axe. Especially with that up jab. You know, uh, didn't have Diaz up. <laughs> could very well be. I mean, I think you could bomb if you had Diaz up by one run. Some good action just then. 240 more punches so far in this fight. A good round for Malinaji. Malinaji being very quick in there, using the ring. By that left eye cut. Body shot from the eye. The first couple of rounds. For Malinaji to do what he does is the wrong thing to do. It shouldn't, it should impede his movement, but does, that doesn't seem to. That double jab movement by Diaz needs to be a lot quicker. Ricky had and Miguel Cotto said, you'll see the best of me tonight. Malinaji on the scorecard to imagine or dire. Malinaji can't afford to give away this round. Good right hand by Diaz inside. Malinaji answers back. Left hand to the body scored by Diaz. Left hand to the head. Left hand to the chin. Very good. Moving around, throwing that jab. And, you know, you can hear the crowd really trying to cheer on Diaz. That was a few seconds. 
Diaz seemed to land some good shots to me in this round. Yeah. Some nice right hands. He's on his toes, feeling good. Good fight. Both boxes hug. All to the winner by unanimous decision from Houston, Texas.